I put a Forged in Fire reference in there. Did you catch it? This is a very special episode. Why? Because we're doing Old Man by Neil Young, a video that I am dedicating to my father, my dear departed. He's not dead. He's not dead, but I haven't spoken to him. And I have not spoken to my father in about 18 hours. Unless you'd include text messaging, and then it's been about two hours. So, guys, really funny. It's really funny to talk about your father being dead. It's gonna be really fun in like 40 years when he is dead, and then I watch this video. Dad, sorry to break it to you. You're gonna be dead in 40 years. Perfect. Merry Christmas. All right, so I'm wearing a hat. It is a very big hat because I have a big head. My dad has a big head. It's so big they don't put the size in it, but somehow wearing that hat was cutting off circulation of my fingers, so I'm not gonna wear it anymore. My dad chose this song, so it's not its not my attempt to call my dad an old man. He is my old man, though. That's an expression I have literally never used in my entire life. Guys, we should have a Forged in Fire watching competition. <laughs> what? So anyway, if you wanna get your song request fulfilled just be my dad and then you automatically get one good luck people of the world friends and relatives standard tuning you're gonna start the there's a we got one two three basically three parts ish kind of sort of with some variations in there let's learn the introduction which is the coolest part you're gonna put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the third string from the bottom. People, you're gonna put your ring finger on the sixth fret of the second string from the bottom. The bottom string, make sure it's open, like that. Make sure your ring finger's not leaning down and muting the bottom string. I also think it would be very wise of you. Wise like an old man would be wise. It would be wise of you to have your thumb come up over the top and mute the top string. If you don't do that, just be really careful not to hit that top string when you're strumming. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna play the middle two strings. Then you're gonna get rid of your pointer finger. You're gonna strum the middle two strings again. And then you're gonna hammer on to the fifth fret of the third string from the bottom. So we've got like that, just boom, bada, here we go. Boom, bada, waka do. Boom, bada, how you do. Dickaboo. I said dickaboo. Gotta start the whole video over now. After dickaboo, what you're gonna do is keep those two fingers there and just strum down, up, down, up on the bottom four strings. So we've got boom, baka, dickabooty. <laughs> this is getting worse and worse. Okay, keep, keep going. Stuart, just keep going. Neil Young has a very rickety strumming pattern for this whole entire song. Um, he never really picks individual notes. He's always strumming. He's always got this up and down thing going with his hand, but a lot of the time he'll only play two or three or maybe even one note on each strum. So for this whole part, you want this kind of pendulum bobbing up and down motion with your arm, but you want it just you're aiming for those bottom four strings and you're really on a down strum, you kind of want to usually just hit the middle two strings. And on an up strum, you usually just want to play like the bottom two strings. Did I say middle two strums? Sometimes I wonder if I know what I'm doing. So far, we have down, hammer, down, up, down, up. Play with me, clown up, pound up, boom. Hammer, down, up, down, up. One and two and one more time, gang. Down, hammer, down, up, down, up. Great, let's finish up the rest of the intro. Then we're gonna strum down again, but you're gonna get rid of your pointer finger again. We're gonna strum down, hammer on, and then you're gonna strum down, up, down, up, down, up. So now from the very beginning, we've got down, hammer, down, up, down, up, hammer, down, up, down, up, down, up. Then you're gonna go hammer, down, up, down, up, down, up, again, people. This is the first chunk of the intro. I just threw my pen all the way over there. Now I can never write anything down ever again. One, two, play it with me, here we go. Down, hammer, down, up, down, up, hammer, down, up, down, up, down, up. 
up, hammer down, up, down, up, down, up. Almost done with the main intro riff. After that, you're gonna go to a D chord. A D chord is two on the bottom string, three on the second string from the bottom, and two on the third string from the bottom. The quick way to get to D from here is you just take your pointer and middle finger and you just slide them on back to two and three, and then add your middle finger, guys. On this D chord, you're gonna strum down, then get rid of your middle finger so the bottom string is open, strum down again, but then hammer on with your middle finger and then strum down, up, down, up. So we went down, hammer, down, up, down, up, and then we're almost through it. Add your pinky to the third fret of the bottom string. You're gonna strum down and then pull off your pinky. Then get rid of your pointer finger and strum down, up, down, up, down, up. Guys, that was the entire intro riff. It's not the entire intro, but it's the entire intro riff. I'll tell you what I mean when, I'm, when you're older. So my dad's name is James Brown. It's true. You can look him up on the internet. I, don't, I mean, if you search for James Brown, you're going to get um, the James Brown singer. My dad is not the singer James Brown. James, that James Brown is dead. And as we've discussed, my dad is not dead, clinging to life on his deathbed. It's not true. He's perfectly healthy. He might not be, I don't know. I don't know. He might be dying and he just doesn't want to tell me because he doesn't want to break my heart. I don't feel like this is appropriate at all. Okay, let's play the whole intro riff. So we've got, we're up on five and six. We do the little hammer on, then we do the hammer on again, then we do the hammer on again. Then we go down to here, we do the hammer on, and then we do the little three pull off thing. Let's do it. One, two, nice and slow. Here we go. And down, hammer, down, up, down, up, hammer, down, up, down, up, down, up, hammer, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, hammer, down, up, down, up, pull off, down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay, we'll do it again without me yelling at you the whole time. Yeah, right. What do you think the chances are of this happening? What's the over-under on this one? I don't know what over-under means. Money line bet. Oh, I do not have a Vegas trip planned currently. That's a problem. I need to bet on a football game that I don't understand. One, two, karate chop Rochambeau. Fantastic. You do that two times, two times in a row. Then the singing starts, and you do it a third time in a row. And then to finish up the intro, you do just the first three little parts. You do just the. Do you do that again? So okay, so we're doing the full riff three times, and then we do the first part of the riff once, and that's the intro. Let's do the whole intro to "Old Band" by Neil Diamond all the way through. One, two, karate chop. Watch this. I messed up. Sorry. Forgive me. And then the singing starts. And then... And then we go into the verse to the song Old Man by Neil Patrick Harris. People of the world, friends and relatives, let me show you the verse, okay? The verse is basic, basically built around three chords. The D chord, the F chord, not the bar chord F. Neil Young does the puny F, which is great. I love the puny F. And then the C chord, and then a G chord. That's like basically what it is, but there's some fancy stuff in there, so let's just, let's just do it. All right. For the first time through the verse chords, there's no singing. FYI, TMI, for your entertainment. There used to be a record store called For Your Entertainment. My brother worked there, and it was a completely average store. Nostalgia. Go to the D chord. We Do you remember it? We literally just did it, so I hope you remember it. Guys, you're going to strum down. Then you're going to get rid of your pointer finger. 
strum down again, and a hammer on to two. So we've got down, hammer. Then you're just gonna strum down, up, down, up. One, two, here we go. Down, hammer, down, up, down, up. Then we switch to an F chord. An F is bottom string open. It's actually an F major seven chord, but we're just gonna call it F because nobody cares. Pointer finger, first fret, second string from the bottom. Middle finger, second fret, third string from the bottom. Ring finger, third fret, third string from the top. Keep the middle finger muting the top string. We may not allow that top string in on the F major seven chord. Guys, you're gonna strum this F chord, then lift up your middle finger and strum down. Then strum down on that same no middle finger version again, and then hammer on with your middle finger and strum down up. So that was down, lift, hammer, down, up. Down, lift, hammer, down, up. Just the F. Karate chop, Rochambeau. Down, lift, hammer, down, up. Fantastic. Now this is where the big guns come in. I don't know what that means. You're gonna switch to a C chord. A C chord is this right here. It looks a lot like the F, doesn't it? It's pointer finger, one second string from the bottom. Middle finger, two, third string from the top. Ring finger, three, second string from the top. Keep the top string muted if you can. Switching from F to C is relatively easy because you just hop those fingers up like that. We're here and you go to there. Don't move your pointer finger. Fantastic job, I'm really proud of you. On this C chord, you're gonna strum down once, then lift up your middle finger, strum down, hammer onto two with your middle finger, then lift up your middle finger again, strum down again, then hammer on to two to the third string from the bottom with your middle finger, and then immediately take it off and strum down again. That was confusing, I know, but watch this. We go C, C, three, four, C, hammer, hammer, open. See that? C, hammer, hammer, open. When I strum, I'm aiming for the specific string that I'm doing the hammer on, on, but I'm almost certainly gonna hit a couple extra strings and that's perfectly fine. So I'm not going, I'm not strumming every string. If I do that, it would be okay, but it's way better if you aim for the string you're doing the hammer on on. Watch this. See right there, I'm like aiming for the G string when I go, but I'm hitting some extra strings. I think it makes perfect sense. I think I'm explaining myself very well. I think you're just not quite paying attention. After you go hammer open on that third string from the bottom, then you're gonna go hammer open on the third string from the top. So now we've got C, hammer, hammer open, hammer open. Finally, we're gonna switch to a G chord. The way that Neil Young plays G on this chord is he moves his ring finger up to three on the top string, middle finger plays two on the second string from the top, and pinky plays three on the bottom string. So, and on the G, we're just gonna go down, down, up. No hammer-ons, no pull-offs, no nothing on the G. So now we get to try to play that whole set of four chords. The D with the hammer-on, F with the hammer-on, C with a bunch of hammer-ons, and then the G. One, two, nice and slow, here we go. Down, down. One, two, one more time, down. Now, you might have noticed I did the hammer on a little bit differently those two times on the D. Uh, the, the truth is I just made a mistake, but the second truth of the matter, my truth on the matter, is that I think you can, look, you wanna add in some hammer ons, I don't need to be perfect, get off my back, look. Dad, give me a break, I'm doing the song, okay? After you play those four chords, we're gonna do basically the same thing again. You do the same thing on the D, same thing on the F, 
Then you go to the C, but on the C, you're just gonna go down, hammer, down, up, down. I'm just hammering on on the second fret of the third string from the top. And then we go to an F, and we're just gonna go down, hammer, down, up, down, up. So the second time through, we go D, F, C, then D back to F. Guys, that is the main verse thing. Let's go ahead and play that main verse thing all the way through. One, two, three, four, and a D hammer down, up, down, and F open hammer, and boom. And second half, All the hammer-ons and stuff, if you don't want to do the hammer-ons, you don't have to. It's still going to sound like the song, don't worry. Then we get into the actual official verse where the singing starts. Those, those eight chords we just played, the D to F to C to G, D, F, C, F. You do that exact same thing all the way through again with singing. Then we do a whole nother verse where we do, we start everything, we, we play through that same progression again. We go D, F, C, G, but then at the very end of the first verse, we go D to C to F to G. So we're going to go D. I'm doing hammer-ons just whenever I feel like it at this point. And then we go to G. But here's what we're going to do on that final G. We're going to strum down, down, and then you're going to play top string on the third fret, then play second string from the top open, then play second fret on the second string from the top, and then play third fret on the second string from the top, and then play the open D string, the open third string from the top. So check this out, guys. We've got D, O, C, hey, F, hey, then G, G, boom, 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 boom. All right, there's a little bug right here. I think it's a dangerous bug. Let's see. It's right. Do you see it crawling on the paper? It's a little bug. I didn't really eat it. It's still there. See, I'm just going to let him do his thing. It appears to be a, whoop, I couldn't, it went away. I think it was a tarantula, but I'm not positive. All right, that was confusing. So let's play through the entire verse, starting with that first time through the verse where there's no singing. One, two, a D chord, here we go. And down. Starts and we repeat the verse over again. We've made it to the chorus of the song, which goes like this, guys. We've got a regular D chord ready to go. We're going to go down, 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 up, down, up. So that was just down, 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 up, down, up. Then you do the same thing again. So it's down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up on the D. Then we switch to an A minor 7 chord. A minor 7 is pointer finger on one of the second string from the bottom, middle finger on two of the third string from the top. Keep that top string muted. And we're going to go down, down, up, up. So down, down, up, up. And then we switch to an E minor 7. This is middle finger, second fret, second string from the top. Ring finger, second fret, third string from the top. Pinky, third fret on the second string from the bottom. You may use your pointer and middle finger, but that's not how Neil Young does it. It's not how I do it. That's not how my dad is going to do it. Right, dad? 
I don't know. It got very intense for no reason. Then it's what I do. I say something that I regret, and then I just start moving my paper around, and then I throw pens across the room. I think I should probably put my hat back on, right? All right, let's play the chorus so far. One, two, here we go. Down, 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 up, down, up. Seven. Then, uh, let's see, what do we do then? We go. Okay, then on the E minor seven, we, we hold it out for a minute, and then we go up, down, up, down, and then you're gonna play the G chord kind of suddenly. So we go, ba, 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 up, down, up, down, G. I think that's not right. I think I messed it up. No, that was correct. I just confused myself because if I'm feeling spunky, I strum down on the G, but if I'm feeling plunky, I strum up on the G. So we, so let's just play the chorus together, whatever. We play this four times through. Let's do it twice right now. One, two, chorus time, eat this. Down, D, take a look at my life, I'm alive. We've actually finished all the parts of the song. So that's the chorus. You do that four times. Then you go to the interlude. The interlude is just the verse again. And then you play the whole verse all the way through, exactly the same as we did the first time. Then you do the chorus again, exactly like we did the first time. Then you go back to the intro riff, the... You play that again, my pick is gone. You play that again, and then you go back to the verse riff, and you play it just one time. The verse riff was. That, you do that once, and then you just strum a D chord. And that's how you play Old Man. I don't wanna play it all the way through. I just hit myself in the chin with the guitar. Because here's the thing, if I play it all the way through, I'm gonna try to sing along, and, and Neil Young goes up to, he goes, ah, oh, he goes, oh man, take a look at my life, I'm alive like you. And I'm not willing to sing that high today, because that hat kinda gave me a headache, and I'm allergic to protein powder, and everything that you say is fine. Dad, it's been real, it's been a great time, okay? Uh, when are we gonna, uh, what's, what, do we have any plans? We're going to Disneyland next year, that's gonna be fun. What else is going on? Okay, great.